Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 2nd through the 8th. Generally my readings are love readings, so it is what it is. If you're not looking for love, then you probably don't want to watch the reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Ten of Swords. So there's an ending here, a completion. Somebody may be feeling betrayed, hurt, stabbed in the back. No communication coming in, no forward movement. Lack of emotional fulfillment. Maybe you're not getting that offer that you wanted or you're not giving it. Somebody is emotionally detached at this time. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or this is, um, with that Devil card, this could be so much. I mean, there's some sort of manipulation here, lies, toxic. These cards fell out, so those are the ones I'm using. And this is definitely your reading, okay? This is, these are the cards that meant to fall out, the exact amount with you ending it. Amazing. So that was meant to happen, okay? Um, yeah, you guys may be feeling a little upset, a little angry, maybe in your head, emotional, um, maybe even resentful. Or vindictive. I mean, that's the outcome here. Be over an, uh, an ending, an ending of a, of a relationship. It looks like to me, some something that made you happy at one time. It looks like that is what has happened. I think something has ended. I think that you know, you guys. But even though this is, has ending, you guys are really, really ended. You guys are really strong because I see your strength here, and you're being called to continue to be strong. It takes strength to let go. It takes strength to open up and to have courage and confidence. And it feels as though this is the judgment card. Okay, there's that judgment card is a is a karma card. It's an awakening. It is a forgiveness is needed. And I understand sometimes it's hard to forgive, and you may be feeling a little bit resentful over a situation. But forgiveness is needed here. Um, I feel as though there was some sort of relationship that ended and has made you bitter, but I have to tell you that there's an opportunity for a new beginning. There's an opportunity for something more solid, something more long-term that could lead to a lot of happiness. Okay, there is. There could be an instant attraction with someone new, but you got to let go of the bitterness or the anger or the resent, whatever it is. You're a beautiful person. Maybe you've forgotten what you're worth. Okay, this is a card of self-worth as well. So in order you, for you to find that ultimate happiness, you have to let go of, of bitterness. Okay, you do. You do. So, you know, you guys have been involved in a karmic situation. The whole basis of this reading is the judgment card. This is about forgiving the past and releasing the past okay that's what needs to happen here it maybe you you come to some epiphany that says you know what it's time it's time for me to let go because that the strength card is finding the strength to let go okay so i feel as though that something is being let go but it is going to bring you something much much happier we're going to get some uh clarifiers here oh yeah so, so it's reality check. The, the, it's real. It's real. This is real. Okay. It's, this is uh, the truth has been revealed. Okay. The truth has been revealed, and now you have to accept it. There is a new opportunity, and this isn't a challenge. I put it over here. It's funny. The challenge is, is that you have a new opportunity. Okay. You do, but will you accept it? Who knows. I feel as though you are still tied to a situation that is toxic, whether you're still tied to it internally or externally, you're still connected to it, you haven't released it, and that's why the strength card is here. But the fact of the matter is, is that they, they're, the truth, this is the truth, the truth has been revealed. This is this card is named, labeled truth in some decks as well. well. 
the truth has been revealed that you have something more solid, more stable, okay? And the challenge is accepting this truth. You could have been involved with a water sign, but you could have been involved with any sign. Whoever you were involved with didn't have good intentions, and they are now probably not communicating at all at this point, or there's a feeling of maybe even emotional blackmail or silent treatment or whatever whatever's going on. That's kind of like a form of manipulation because I do see some manipulation here. Um, I feel as though... You know, there's Pisces a couple times. Okay, we have Pisces here, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Either way, if this, whatever, there's no more forward movement in the situation that you are probably bitter over. You see now it's, now it's mirroring. So there's no, there's no, it's not going to happen, whatever it is. So something is not coming in your direction. It's not. And it may be, it may be you're upset about that. Yeah, you need to walk away. You need to walk away from it completely and do not look back. There's too much hurt there. Keep going, keep going. You know, you may feel like this is a big, huge loss, but it's really, there's no need to keep playing this game. I understand that it's been a loss, but you can't keep doing it forever, right? You can't keep playing this game forever. I feel like you may, you're overwhelmed with this decision or what's going on. You're overwhelmed with the amount of emotion that you're feeling over some sort of loss. I feel as this could be financial loss or it could be loss of a partnership. There's some sort of loss that is weighing very heavily on you that you, you can't quite uh, let go of. But you're, right now you're being naive. Somebody is being naive. There is a new beginning waiting for you, but it feels as though you aren't taking it. Yes, there's a new beginning. There absolutely is something that promises growth and fertility. And it's, it's, pretty, it's an exciting new beginning with a lot of passion. This could be with somebody that you've known before. This could be with somebody that you're very familiar with. But you need to allow yourself to love again. Like go back to those good times where there was innocence. Okay, remember when before you'd been hurt and burned and whatever that whatever made you bitter, whatever you need to go back to that. Remember before you went through all this, you need to bring back those memories of when love was good so that you can open up to this new, new opportunity that's being presented to you. I feel like you're there is an opportunity that is being presented to you, but you are unable to follow through with it because of the bitterness of how you were treated in the past. There's a lot of hurt, and I'm here to tell you to remember the good times when when love was innocent, you know what I mean? That just because the past hurt so bad, just because the last one didn't respect you, or whatever the case is, this person, whatever they did to you, don't let that keep you, keep you stuck where you're at, okay? Remember when you were excited about love think about this for a minute really take a take a second to think about when you were excited about love and bring that feeling back bring it back there's an opportunity here for something solid and passionate there is a new beginning but right now you're not allowing it i have goosebumps by the way reluctant to move on I think that you're whole, you're clinging. You you are clinging to something that hurt. It hurt really, really bad. It's over. It is over. There's some sort of commitment that is over that you are reluctant to move on from, Libra. And you have a new opportunity, like looking right in your face. You need to let go of those burdens. You need to you need to drop it. Don't bring that baggage from from the past, the bitterness with you. Please, please, please let it go. Completion, completion. Okay, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. You need to free yourself from this mindset. Unable to see a new perspective. Unable to move on. You have to move on. There's, whoever is coming in at this point, you know, I do love readings. It could lead to a lot of happiness. You know, you need to restore your hope and love. There's hope. There's hope here and there's room for growth. Mm. 
but you need to see the new perspective in which you haven't been because you're reversed right here. You need to, you need, you're going to have to struggle through this, this pain. You're going to have to struggle through it. You're going to have to struggle through this bitterness, this, this, you know, fear of, of being stabbed again. You know, you, you have to, you have to struggle through it. You need to stop resisting. There is an opportunity for a wonderful new partnership here, but your past memories of complete betrayal are haunting you. You need to sever those ties. You need to let go. You let go of your ego. Rejection is rejection. This is let go of ego. You need, the rejection from this other person is keeping you back. It is. It is. It's like, what if? Why should I open my heart to anybody if I'm just going to be rejected again? So therefore, you don't want love. You don't. You're not going to let love in. Because you're still connected to some some situation, some union that didn't work out. You're indecisive about letting a new lover in because you can't fully, internally let go. The struggle is real. You have to, you can't, you can't change the script, okay? The script has already been written. There's an opportunity for something solid and stable. A lot of happiness here. Abundance. An abundance of happiness. But you have to get over the, the opportunity that didn't work out and let the new love in. There's an opportunity for love here, Libra. But right now, you feel like you don't deserve love or you can't offer love because you're, you're stuck. You're stuck in the past. Now, we have these sixes. We have the six of pentacles, the six of cups, and I think we have the six of swords in our hair. We lucked at six, six, six. It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to bring back that balance and harmony that's been lost. It's time to go on that journey towards balance and harmony. But in order for you to do that, you have to release this hurt, this discontent that you're holding on to the bitterness it's making you bitter and it's not allowing the, you to accept this new offer there's a new there's a new opportunity for love here which we already talked about you're be, you're being asked to realize the truth and have faith in this situation so i'm going to go with i'm going to go to my angel romance cards now there's an opportunity for love here libra if you if you could open your heart and let go let go of what didn't work out. And remember the good times when you were innocent. You know, before you got hurt all these years, all these times, you know, there is an opportunity for you to go back to that spot. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. It is. You have that opportunity to look at love in a new light. You do. Every single person in this world does. Just because the last one hurt you or the last two or three people hurt you doesn't mean the next one is because you gain strength and wisdom and knowing, okay, uh, knowledge through all those experiences, okay? You gain knowledge, but you don't need to let it, you don't let the bad times hold you back. Libra, what is Libra? Dear angels, what do you want Libra to know? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's definitely what you needed to see. It's true. Let go of the pessimism. Let it go. There's an opportunity here that leads to something long-term, solid, passionate, abundant. Playfulness, yeah. Remember I said go back to your childhood? Oh my God. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, that just summed up my reading. Go back. Go back to when you could love again. It's all in your head. It's mind over matter. Talk to you later.